Today we're going to practice suturing using a surgical translucent suture pad that has a pre-made incision. If you look at the pad, it has little holes in it to represent evenly spaced dots that you can use either to place your suture needle through and or use to determine whether your suture bites are even. To place that into our tensioning base, we put the incision right in the middle of the base, hold just on the right side of the incision, open that up and tighten. Left side of the incision, open that up and let that come together and then that will provide support for our suture. We're going to place this now in a perpendicular fashion to our body. To suture today we're going to use 3-0 monofilament nylon suture with a reverse cutting needle. To place the needle, we want to grab the needle with the needle holders just to the back of the halfway part of the needle. So you can see here the thumb forceps are about halfway, the needle holder is just past halfway. Now to place the suture, we're going to go right in the middle of the pad for a simple interrupted suture pattern. We're going to take our first bite about four to five millimeters from the cut edge, stabilize that with the thumb forceps, move our needle holders over using the curve of the needle to bring that through, reposition the needle, come on the near side, stabilize the tissue about four to five millimeters away from the cut edge, grab the needle, pull that through again using the curve, pull the extra slack out of the suture and now we're going to do a regular square knot. To accomplish that, we're going to put the needle holders right in the middle of the incision and go around the needle holders one time. Grab the opposite side of the suture, and we're going to pull the needle holders towards us and the long end of the suture away. Because this is a monofilament suture, when we let go, it will start to loosen up. That's okay because the next throw will tighten it down. Needle holders in the middle, not on the side. If the needle holders are here, or over here it will be a granny knot, so we want to put them right in the middle, come around the needle holder one time, grab the suture, rotate the needle holders over, and this is very important to pull evenly. If I pull unevenly with one end or the other, it can form a slip knot. So in this case I want to form nice even sutures, tensioning down until I oppose the skin, and you can see how that knot will slip. Put the needle holders in the middle, again not on one side, or the other because that would be a granny knot. We want to do a square knot right in the middle, around one time, grab the suture, make sure that that stays nice and even and on this one we can lock it very well. One more to finish it up, so fourth row square knot typically for most of our suture materials, nice and flat, no tension and we can tighten that down. Because this is representing a skin suture we can leave the ends about a centimeter long if we were doing a buried suture, we would leave them about two millimeters long.